Hi guys, Tech James here. So the 3.69 and 3.70 PS Vita hack is finally come out. They decided to call it Trinity. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how to install it. So you go, Trinity is the third public jailbreak for the PS Vita. It supports the latest firmware, 3.69 and 3.70. The exploit chain consists of three stages. Basically, I'll be showing you guys how to do it anyway. So if you guys like his work, you can go and donate to him here. That is his name at the top of the official flow. Um, here are the requirements. So your device must be on firmware 3.69 or 3.70. If you're on a lower firmware, please use Hancor. I have videos for that over on my channel. If your device is the old PS Vita, you must have a memory card. Um, if your device is a slim or a PS TV, just like mine, mine's the PS TV, you do not need a memory card because you can use the internal storage. Um, your device must have a PlayStation Network account and you must be able to access the PlayStation Store. So here is the preparation. Now you should have already done this um, if you know about this custom firmware. I have got a video for this on my channel so you can prepare. Basically you need one of these three games. I live in the UK so I decided to get ApeQuest and yeah, I've pretty much already covered this. So now let's go on to the installation. The first thing we need to do, we need to download QCMA and PSV image tools. On QCMA all you have to do is scroll down, choose your operating system, I'm running Windows. So just click on this and it will begin downloading. Next, we need to get PSV image tools. So go to the second link and just scroll to releases right here and click on that one release. Scroll down again and we can find it. We need to get the Windows um, version because I'm on a Windows PC. So I'm going to get the Windows 64 bit. Just click on that and that will begin downloading as well. Okay, so once we've got these two files, we want to go to our downloads folder and just find them both in there. So the first thing we need to do is install QCMA. So just double click on this and you can just follow through. Just click yes and just click next. Actually just wait for this. It's very simple to install. I've actually already got this installed. I've had it for a while, um, but all you have to do is just wait for this and um, simply just click next, select your language. You guys get the idea. I'm just going to close out of this because I've already got it. Okay, so next we can just close down these two tabs and back on the main, we need to do the second option. So it says start QCMA and we need to go to into the settings and make sure this option is enabled. So let's do that. Go to your search icon, just type QCMA or you might already have it enabled um, if you decided to run it, but we're just going to click on it. So what we're going to do now is click on the small arrow down here. We're going to find it. Um, it looks like I've got two open actually, so I'm just going to quit one of them. But we're going to right click it, go onto settings. Make sure you go onto other up here. And where it says use the version, um, basically just select this one. Firmware 0, 0.00, always up to date. And now you can just click on OK. It's then just going to close out of it. Now next we need to go onto our PS Vita or PS TV and we need to launch Content Manager and we need to connect it to our computer so we can copy across our PSP game. So let's go and do that now. Okay guys, so over on your PS Vita or PS TV or whatever device you're using, make sure you have your PSP game. Here is mine, ApeQuest. And what we're going to do, we are going to go and start up Content Manager. Now with this, we can actually connect to QCMA over on our computer. So what we have to do, we have to select Copy Content and just press X on this or tap it. It's then just going to start connecting. We need to select PC um, or Computer. Then you need to find your computer. Here is mine. Mine's just called um, James PC. So I'm just going to click on this. And now what we need to do is just click in this box. And we actually need to enter what it says on our computer right now. So it's going to open up just like this on QCMA. As you can see, we've got 300 seconds, but we just need to type over. We just need to type this in over on our PS Vita or PS TV. So once you have typed yours in, what you want to do is just go over to the green arrow um, down there in the bottom right and just press X on this. Then just click on register. And if you did it right, it should register. There you go. We're going to click on next. Now it's just going to start connecting again. Just wait for it. And here you go. We're now connected. So what we have to do, we have to copy um, content from our PS Vita, PS TV over onto our computer. So we're going to press X on this option right here. We then need to scroll down and we need to go to applications. We then need to go to PSP slash other, press X. And here we can find our ApeQuest game. So it's 200 megabytes. Press X on this and we're going to go on copy. Then we're going to click OK. And it's now going to copy this across um, to our computer. So you can connect this via wire as well. If you're using a PS TV like me, you must do this over the Wi-Fi. But we're going to copy this across. There you go, 70 seconds. Let's just wait for this and I will be back when it's done. 
Okay, so once our game has copied across, um, it should now be on our computer. So what we have to do is we have to find it. So it says transfer your game, we have done that. We have to go to this folder, documents, PS Vita, and then P game. So we're going to go onto our documents. Um, so documents, PS Vita, P game. Um, now, if you have two, I don't know why I've got two, but you need to find the one that says date modified most recent. So this one was one minute ago, so it must be this one. I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's empty. Don't know what that is. But we're going to go into this one right here. We're going to find our game. Now, we're going to make a backup of this game just in case it goes wrong. So I'm just going to right-click, copy, and I'm just going to paste this somewhere in my downloads just in case we need it again. Um, obviously, we can use it. Now we've got a backup of it. So let's go back over to that folder. So what we have to do, we have to go back, we have to find the folder that the game is in, right click and go to rename, and then we're gonna go right click again and copy. Make sure you copy this unique ID. Next, go over back to the guide. We need to click on here. This is going to open up a link um, for us to paste the like number in. So we're gonna right click and paste, click on submit, and what it's going to do is just give us this whole custom line of numbers and letters. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click and copy this. Basically, what you want to do is you want to get these and kind of put them in a text document just so we can paste our key into them. So actually, I'm just going to copy this instead. As you can see, I've put them in here. So let me just show you how I did it. So I pasted it in and where it says your key, you just want to copy this and paste this in to where it says your key. We will need to use these in a minute. Um, there's this one as well, and that is this one right here. So again, copy this, obviously paste it in, and where it says your key, you want to put in your custom key just so we do not use lose this just yet. Okay, so once we've got these two kind of like custom um, CMD prompt commands, we actually want to go to our downloads folder and we want to find our PSV image tools. From here, we want to right click and just select extract to PSV image tools. It's going to put it into a file folder for us. We want to copy everything that's in here, right click, copy it, go back into our documents where it says P game. Go into this folder, um, just like this. You can, you know, just go into the root of it. Right click and paste the contents of the PSV image tools in here. So next we are going to open up CMD. So click on the search, type in CMG just like that. Press enter on it and it's going to open. On this text box here, we want to type in CD space. And now we're basically gonna copy this game file into CMD. So go and select this, go onto it and just drop it in there. And it's going to look just like that. So now we just need to press enter on our keyboard. It's going to create a new line for us. This is where we need to select our first custom command. So right click, copy this. We're just going to press control V for paste and then press enter on your keyboard. Now what it's gonna do is extract something. Now it says creating file right here. I'm pretty sure it's done already. Um, okay, there you go. Yeah, it has to say all done. So just wait for it to say all done. It should just take a couple of seconds. So next, back on your web browser, we need to download this pboot file. So it says Trinity right here. Click on where it says Trinity, and it's actually just going to download. So that's going to put that in your downloads folder. Okay, so go and find your pboot.pbp in your downloads folder. We're going to right click this and then just select copy. We need to go back to our documents. We need to go inside of our game again. We need to go inside of game underscore DEC. We need to go inside this folder, which says UXO on it, and we need to right click and paste our pboot.pvp inside of this folder. From here, we need to open up back our CMD and we we'll actually need to put in our next command. So that will be this one. Make sure you copied it across correctly. We're going to right click copy and control V on our keyboard and press enter on our keyboard. Then it's just going to start packing the file. Again, we just have to wait. And here it says created the game slash game PSVMD. So as you can see, that is now done. So once that is done, you want to just click on this and we actually need to delete two things. We need to delete all of these. So select them, press delete on your keyboard. And we also need to delete game underscore deck. So press delete on your keyboard as well. And there you go, should be looking pretty basic just like this. You can refresh it if the files are still showing. Now what we can do is we can actually create a backup of this hacked version. So right click and copy. Again, we're going to go to our downloads. As you can see, we had the original. We're going to right click new and just call it backup, uh, maybe hacked or something or hacked backup, whatever you want. But we're just going to paste it in this folder for a backup. So there you go. We've now got a hacked version. You want to click on this, find QCMA, right click and just click on refresh database. This is just going to refresh it. Um, it might come up with a um, refreshing database just like this and it might read a few of your files. Don't worry, just let it do its thing. And now what we can actually do is Go back onto our PSV or PSTV and let's try and copy across the hacked file. 
So we are still on this where we copied it across from last time. We're going to click cancel and this time we need to go back because we actually need to do something different. We need to copy it from the PC to our PSTV system. So again, applications, um, PSP other. And here you go, we've got ApeQuest. We're going to select this and just go on copy and just click on OK. And it's now going to start copying it across from our computer over onto our PSTV. So I don't know how long this takes. It might take longer copying it. So we're just going to wait for this to complete. So yeah, there you go. It's 13 minutes. So that is actually quite long, eight minutes. And before it didn't take too long. So yeah, let's just wait for this. So there you go guys, I've finally finished. We can actually click cancel on this and we can press circle to go all the way back um, to the, uh, the main menu. And then what we can do is we can actually just close out of this with a PS button, hold circle to close it down. And there you go guys, we have got Trinity on our home screen. So it should look just like this. If you did anything wrong, it might show the original PSP game, um, but it will say Ape Quest when you click on it. So we can just press X on start and hopefully it should actually boot into it. So you go get a really cool animation, Trinity Exploit by the Flow. Again, if you like his work, he has a donation section over on his um, over on the guide on how to set this up. And there you go, we've got install Henkaku, download Vita Shell. Um, my screen just went black, I don't know what's going on. So what we can do, we can actually press X on install Hankaku and then say success. And we also need to press X on download Vita Shell, and that's going to download as well. Um, just wait for this to download, it shouldn't really take too long, VTShell is a pretty small program. Um, so let's go and say installing application. And once it is done, we can actually go and exit out of Trinity. There you go, success, press X on exit. And there you go, we've got VTShell and we can open this up and we can actually search our PSTV's files. If you guys wish to downgrade and get your PSTV or PS Vita on permanent custom firmware, I have a video for that over on my channel. As you can see, VTShell looking pretty basic right now. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. So that is how you install the, the Trinity custom firmware. Let me take a look at my system settings real quick. Let's see if Trinity has got a cool icon over on the system information. So system, system information still says just 3.70 basic. Also, if you're having any problems with Trinity, like it's crashing or anything, I just got a black screen. Um, reboot your device, start it up again, and you shouldn't get any issues. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. If this video helped you guys, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.